we will need some velvet yarn, a six millimeter crochet hook, a hair tie, and of course scissors. Welcome back to another tutorial, guys. Today we are going to start off our bralette with a slip knot. Okay, and then we're going to grab our six millimeter crochet hook and pull that tight. And now what we're going to do is chain up enough to reach from the bottom of your breast to your nipple. And I will insert a picture of what I'm talking about here and also a size chart as well to help you kind of guide yourself along. So for mine, I needed six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so we've got six chains there. Now what I'm gonna do is hold on to that last chain and chain up two more. And I chain up two because we are going to be doing half double crochets. So now going in the third chain from the hook, which is the same one you're grabbing onto right now, you wanna yarn over, go through that loop right there, through that chain, yarn over and pull through, and now you have three loops on your hook. So you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And that's a half double crochet. So I'm gonna continue doing this all the way down the chain, just these normal half double crochets. Okay, so we're coming on that very last chain right there. So we have one, two, three, four, five stitches right now. And that last chain two is not going to count as a stitch right there. So we're gonna go into that very last chain right by our slip knot, and we are going to yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. All right, so right now, what we are going to do is start making the peak of our bralette, and the peak is just this part right here. So to do that, we are going to make another half double crochet in the very same stitch. All right, and now we're gonna to wanna to chain one. And then take a stitch marker if you have one. I don't usually use them, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use this paper clip. All right, so now we got the stitch marker in there. We're going to make two more half double crochets in that very same stitch. Okay, there's one. And there's two right here. All right, awesome. So now what we're going to do is just half double crochet all the way down on the other side of your foundation chain. Okay, and now we are coming on that last stitch right there and it's not gonna be the chain two at the very end, it's the stitch right before it. So make sure you go into that. And there we have it. So once you're done, make sure to count seven stitches on both sides to make sure that it's even. And that's gonna be the first row of our little bralette. So to continue, what you're gonna do is chain up two and then we're gonna flip our work. And what we're gonna do is make our first half double crochet in the very first stitch where your chain two is, because again, that chain two does not count as a stitch. So again, we're just going to half double crochet all the way down until we reach our seven stitches. Okay, and make sure to go into that very last stitch right there. OK, 
Okay, and so we've come to our stitch marker or our chain one. Make sure you have seven or however many stitches were in your first row, depending on the size of your bralette. But again, we've come to our chain one, and what we're going to do is take out the stitch marker. And what we're gonna do is two half double crochets, chain one, two half double crochets, all into this chain one right here. So you're gonna yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull up, and pull through all three. Okay, so we do that one more time, and then we're going to chain one again. Okay, put your stitch marker back on. And then make two more half double crochets in that same chain one space. So one and two. All right, so now we're gonna have a total of nine half double crochets going down both sides when you include those two at the top. So we're gonna go right into that very next stitch right there with another half double crochet. And we are gonna continue all the way down just like we did in the first row. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is what it's starting to look like. And we're going to continue to do that same thing on each row, making the half double crochets down the side until we get to the chain one where we place the two half double crochets, then a chain one, then two half double crochets, all in that same one, that same chain one space with the stitch marker. So we're gonna to continue to do that until you make it wide enough and tall enough to fit your cup size. And I'm gonna finish off this cup and I will come back once I'm done so we can start working on the straps. All right, so I just finished doing this cup and I ended up doing six rows in total with 17 stitches on both sides. So obviously it's going to differ depending on your cup size, but if you are making this for someone else, I'm gonna put a size chart in my written pattern so that will help you determine how wide you need to make your cup. So right now we are going to show you how to do this little front tie strap right here. Okay, so let's flip this cup around and I will show you how to do this right now. So what we're gonna do is chain up 20. Okay, so we've got 20 chains. You wanna make sure that it's flipped so you're working on the bottom portion, and you can tell because the bottom has some ridges in it. All right, so we are just going to be single crocheting all the way down. So I will show you how to do a single crochet. We're going to go, we're going to go into the first stitch from our chain, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is insert your hook yarn over and pull through. And then with two loops on your hook, you wanna yarn over and pull through both. Okay, and that's a single crochet right there. So we're going to continue doing this all the way down. And I will come back once we get to the cup portion. So we're almost done with that strap right here. I'm just going to finish up with the single crochets and then once more into that very last chain right there. Okay, and now we've gotten to the bottom of the cup. And all we're going to do with this is make two single crochets into each of the half double crochet spaces all the way down. Okay, so see right there, the first uh, half double crochet space, we are just making two single crochets. Okay, find the next one and then make one and two single crochets. Okay, once more I'll show you. One and then two. And we are doing that all the way down. 
So I will finish that up and come back right here to show you how to do the next strap. And we're almost done with this edging. So we have one more stitch to go into. Okay, make sure you do those two single crochets into the last one as well. All right, so this is what our bottom is looking like. And this will be the strap that we tie in the front right here. But now what we are going to be doing is making this little back tie. And it's super easy because all you gotta do is chain. All right, so we're not gonna do anything fancy. I'm just chaining up 40 because that's what's going to fit around my back when I end up tying it. But obviously just chain however many you need to adequately reach all the way around your back. So it may be a little bit of trial and error, but it's better to go more than less, as I say. Okay, so we are now done with that. So all you're gonna do is take your scissors, do a little snip, and pull through like that and tighten. All right, so we have the little bottom parts done and all that is left is going to be our next strap. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is grab our hook, insert it in, and then take our yarn and pull through that chain one. Okay, and we wanna leave a tail that's long enough to weave in later. All right, so all I'm gonna do is just knot this right here to secure. And then I'm gonna take my hook, go back into that chain one space. Okay, then take your working yarn and yarn over and pull through that chain one space. And now all we're gonna be doing is chaining up like we did for the back strap. So I'm going to chain 50, and again, you guys chain however many you'll need to tie this strap around your neck. So I'm just going to finish up the strap and I'll show you guys how to finish off the whole bralette. All right, so I just finished the next strap and I did the same thing where I cut and pulled through as we did on the back strap. Okay guys, so this is your finalized cup. All you need to do is repeat the previous steps for your other cup and you will be done -zo. And the great thing about this little bralette is that you can tie it any way you like. Okay, so we are done with the cute little bralette portion of the video. So now we are going to go on and I will show you how to make this little scrunchie right here. So let's just get right into that. To start our scrunchies, we're going to take our yarn and our hair tie and we're going to tie a knot. Okay, so we are now going to take our 6mm crochet hook and you're going to want to go through the middle of the hair tie. Okay, and then let's grab our working yarn, maybe. <laughs> And what I'm gonna do is yarn over and pull under just like so. And then I'm gonna chain up three. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then all we're gonna be doing is working double crochets all the way around until it gets a scrunchy effect. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's yarn over and go into the hair tie right through there, then yarn over and pull through. Okay, then yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, and that's a double crochet. So we're just going to keep making these all the way around, and I'll come back after I make some more, and I'll show you how we start getting the scrunchy effect. So right now I have 36 double crochets on my hook, and as you can see, it's not that scrunchy yet. So what I'm gonna do is go like this and just scoot it all over. And now you can see how much scrunchier that looks. So just continue to scoot that over until you're satisfied with how it looks, then continue to double crochet all the way around until you have no space left. All right, boys and girls, this is what it's looking like at the end. I did 90 double crochets all around, so let me just show you how to finish it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is find the top of your first chain three. Here, I'll get you guys a better look at it. Okay, 
So we did one, two, and three. Okay, so you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, and then pull through again on your hook. Okay, so that's just going to be a slip stitch right there. And then we're just gonna chain one and snip off a fairly long piece and then just pull through and tighten. All right, so all you have left to do is weave this in, but that is going to be your scrunchie. All right, let's get a little model right there. Oh yes, it's looking very scrunchy, very nice. All right, and there we have it. All right, my friends, we are all done with our bralette and matching scrunchie set. So this will be a great gift for yourself or for your loved ones this holiday season. I mean, everyone loves velvet, am I right? Anyways, be sure to check out the written pattern down below for some extra guidance and for some sizing charts. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe so I can continue making more free crochet content for you all. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.